And, and I think it's just the idea that data scientists are making these tweaks and changes to algorithms, right? We don't really know what they're doing. They don't really know what they're doing. They're just kind of pulling levers, right? And hoping that it has the, the effect that they want. Even though, again, you know exactly what is happening when K is three and when K is four, but like what that means for the broader context, you know, Bob said three was good. So we're going with three. So could you say that like data scientists are somewhat like skewing their models based on their like own thoughts? Yeah, actually this is like a the direction really... that they want the models to go. Yeah, this is actually a really, really big problem. Um, th this is something we call human overfitting. Uh, there was a big scandal a few years ago with Baidu in the ImageNet competition. Um, because the thing is like people do definitely dismiss the impact that setting these hyperparameters has on the end model because it's super opaque. Most people don't even know, you know, like whatever Bob changed K from three to four, right? That's not like a level of detail that a manager is going to think about. Um, but those subtle changes really add up, especially if you're talking about something that doesn't have, you know, one or two hyperparameters, but has a hundred. And when you're not changing K from three to four, but you're changing K from three to like 17.684, because you know that's perfect for this data set, right? And so what Baidu did, and they got in a lot of trouble for it, is that Baidu cheated in such a way where their data scientists were allowed to look at more numbers and change things more in this way, and everyone was very angry about it. Yeah, because it sounds like what could happen, right, is a data scientist like knows the decision they want, right, coming out of this, and they're almost like influencing the model in that way. They absolutely are 100%. Mm -hmm.